So uh, one thing that I feel like I want to say to you is that you are not going to give up. He has fenced up my way so that I cannot pass. He has set darkness in my path. He has stripped me of my glory and taken the crown from my head. He breaks me down on every side and I am gone. My hope he has uprooted like a tree. And that is from Job 19 verse 8 to 10. You have tried to please God. You pray, you truly love Him, but you are right now at the end of your strength and at the end of your endurance. You feel like your trials increase as you hold on to your faith. It seems to you that God is silent towards you. You carry a heavy burden. Beloved, you are not alone. You are not alone, my friend. Multitudes of godly people are suffering in a, in a likewise manner. And the enemy is whispering, God's words is not true. God's words are not true. He's whispering that in your ears to make you believe him. But we know that, that, that it is a devourer that is speaking. Don't fear the powers of hell. Go to Job 19, actually. <laughs> and read the whole chapter. I'll give you a little piece where Job said, In the midst of the satanic attack, though, Job cried out, For I know that my Redeemer lives, and he shall stand at last on the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know, that in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. Oh, how my heart yearns within me. And that's in Job 19. My friend, when you feel weighed down by your trials, remember, remember that God said that Ephraim is joined to idols, let him alone in Isaiah. No trials or tests for that tribe, but you are not given to idols. You are still the apple of the Lord's eye. God sees something in you worth working on. That's why he's working on us and making us and helping us grow. And we know for whom the Lord loves, he chastens, he scourges every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten? That's in Hebrews 12, if I remember correctly. And uh, it, it, it's not pleasant. Of course it's not. And it hurts, and it hurts bad sometimes. But it is the Father saving you for His own glory to be revealed in years ahead. He has never loved you more than now. Take heart, my friend. God is still speaking to you. He's still working on you. Lift your chin up. Stand strong. Go for it. You can do it.